Hey, this is Jessica Welton from Welton Media. This is a tutorial on how to use your marketing kit and your property website. Now, I will warn you, there is a lot of content in this tutorial, but that's because the service has so much to offer you. So starting from the beginning, when you get your property website email, there's gonna be a few links here. There will be the website links, the total marketing kit, and the link to download your photos, the property owner preview, the link to share on social media, and then you can access your account, account at the bottom. What you wanna do, best place to start is go to your total marketing kit, click on the link. That will bring you to your marketing kit website. This has everything you could ever ask for, for social media posts, flyers, everything that you need for your property. So at the top, there's a tab that says add property info. That's where you can add your bedroom bathroom count, your price, square footage, your MLS number and your lot size. You can also edit your photo and your logo. And if you go down a little bit, you're gonna start seeing all of the social media marketing posts. The first thing that you see are the social media videos. Now there's just a couple up top, but if you click down below where it says view more social media videos, so many more are gonna pop up. I mean, there are so many options for you to choose from. To preview these, you just click the play button. It's just gonna play through it. Um, and a lot of them are like uh, slideshows where you can also customize the um, text and the photos. Um, all of these are totally customizable. So as you can see, there are so many to choose from. I'm gonna click on one um, just to show you how you can edit. So it's pretty easy. You just select your text. If you wanna change the text, you can change the word if you want to. So this is just listed. I'm gonna change it to pending. Um, and that's a great thing too, because if you make a post about a property that you just listed, you can go back once it goes pending and make another one. So I'm gonna change the text here. Let's change it to this. Okay, well, that's not really my style, so we're gonna check another one here. Let's change it to this. Okay, this is fine for now. Just to get the point across, you can change the size of the text, you can change the color of the text, and it's all just clicking. Uh, if you wanna change the position of the text, you can al also just drag and drop it. So it's all really easy for you to do. It's really difficult to screw this up. Um, if you do end up messing it up too much, you can always just press cancel and start over. So there's going to be a slideshow in the background. You just click on the image and you can also reorder your photos in here. And if you want to like get rid of one, there's a little X on the bottom of each photo. If you don't want that showing, you just click the X and it'll take it out of the slideshow. And if you want it back in, you just click on the image. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, that way everything is there for you if you want to just switch it around or change it. After you make some changes, if you want to preview it, you can just click preview and it'll show you exactly what it's going to look like once it's downloaded. And then you can close that and you can save and close uh, once you're done or I'm just gonna cancel here in this case. So keep scrolling down, you're gonna come to a section that says stories and reels. Now these are not videos, they're more of just a still photo but they're, uh, you can use them as like a cover photo for your videos if you need to. Um, there's a lot of options here as well. Um, this is a great one for maybe some uh, customer testimonials you can change the quote here, you can change the name, you can change pretty much everything with all of these. Like I said, and I, I will probably keep saying this, that these are fully customizable. Um, nothing is set in stone with these. All of the colors, everything that you see here, all of the shapes, you can change the colors of all the shapes. Everything is here for you to change to fit your branding. 
so I'm just gonna keep going through here. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit to get to the next section because I think you're probably getting the point here. There's also a section for landscape format posts. So, you know, if you prefer the landscape format, there's a social media post for you. There's also square posts. These are really popular with Instagram. Same thing, there's a variety of them. They all work the same way. They're all customizable. You can change around the photos. Here's a great one. It's beautiful. I don't even think I would change anything about it. And then down to my favorite part, the site videos. There are two different site videos for you to choose from. There's the teaser, and then there's the branded video. The teasers, there's two different formats. There's a square format, and then there's a landscape format. And these are basically very short form teaser videos. They're a short slideshow. They've got your address here. Uh, you don't really need to do anything with them. Um, they're just kind of ready-made for you, and they just have a short, uh, video play and you can change the playback speed all the way from like 0.25 speed all the way up to two times the speed. So you can play around with those a little bit, um, but the best part about this, my favorite part is the branded and the unbranded site videos underneath. And the reason why I love these so much is because the branded video will show your logo and then it will show the property address and then it will go through all of your photos. So it is a slideshow that is ready made, ready to go for you. You can also adjust the playback speed in this to make it go a little faster, a little slower, or you don't have to do anything with it. And if you go all the way to the end, it shows your photo and then your contact information one more time. So it's a great branded version of a slideshow. There's also an unbranded version, so if you wanna use it with your MLS listing, it's totally safe to do. It doesn't have any of your branding in there. And it'll just play the same slideshow and then at the end it just has the link to the website. So that is such an awesome marketing tool for you and this package is only $25 and you get a slideshow that normally I mean you'd have to pay for separately as a service and this is already made for you so I'm gonna just go through the website stuff here I, I'm just gonna skip through that because I'm gonna touch on that on a different video I want to show you guys the flyers um, because this is really valuable as well these flyers I've seen left at houses for people who are going through them during showings, they can take it with them. These are also fully customizable. You can just click on the photo and then you, all of your photos are on the bar to the right. Just go through them, pick them out, switch them around if you want to. You can change the fonts, you can change the coloring, you can change everything. You can get rid of things, you can add things. It's just like the social media posts, and it's very straightforward. So they've got vertical portrait style flyers, and they also have some landscape style flyers. There's one flyer that has a front and back uh, right here. That's the front. That's the back. And there's a lot of information on this flyer. You can either edit it while you're in the flyer or there's another place that you can edit it that coincides with the website, but that is gonna be in the website video. So I will link that to this video as well. Now the last thing that I wanna show you is the weekly traffic report. This is for your website. So this will show you where, how many people are coming to your website, how many people have viewed it, what the date was, um, what photo they're seeing mostly. Um, it's also going to show you what city they're viewing from. Um, it's going to show you how they're viewing it. So what website are they accessing your website from? Are they accessing it from the MLS? Are they accessing it from Realtor.com or Zillow? 
Um, and then it's just going to show you how many visitors this week and how many visitors in the last two weeks. So it's pretty useful if you're just trying to track some of these statistics. It can also be helpful too if you've got a seller who's really curious to know how many people are looking at the property or what you're doing to market the property. There's also a schedule and send button down here. This is where you can put your name and your email address and day of the week that you want to get a weekly email that just has all of these metrics built into it. Um, or you can put your seller's information in there. Whoever you want to get this information, just put all their information in there and they will get the weekly report. So that's the marketing kit in a nutshell. The property website is going to be covered on a different video, which I will link below and at the top here. If you have any questions or you need help, feel free to contact me. And for more information about services and pricing, go to www.weltonmedia.com. You can also make an appointment through the website. And I'm also on Facebook. Please follow me there, like me there. I've got a lot of reels and I also show a lot of my recent listings that I photographed. And I'm also on Instagram. Like and follow me there as well. So that's all for today. Thanks.